we may launch people to Mars as early as 2024. Who wants to go when he's issuing a warning that you might not come back? In the grand tapestry of human exploration, few quests have captured our collective imagination like the journey to Mars. For decades, it's been a tantalizing dream, the thought of astronauts setting foot on the rusty surface of the red planet. Today, a shocking revelation will be unraveled, one that might make you rethink everything you thought you knew about NASA's Martian ambitions. Our story begins with humanity's unquenchable thirst for exploration, starting from the time of the first humans in the Garden of Eden, when man sought to gain knowledge of good and evil, and ended up exploring the abyss of temptation when he ate the forbidden fruit. Since that time, man's thirst for exploration has risen far beyond a measure of control as he keeps breaking bounds to more discoveries. We've always looked to the heavens, daring to venture further, to push the boundaries of our understanding. Mars, with its resemblance to Earth and potential for life, has long held a special place in our cosmic aspirations. But sending humans to Mars isn't just a matter of pointing a spaceship towards the stars and counting down to launch. It is a complex, multifaceted puzzle with countless pieces, and some of those pieces reveal a shocking reason why NASA hasn't yet sent humans to the Red Planet. One of the most ominous challenges lurking in the depths of space is the deadly radiation. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a protective magnetic field and a thick atmosphere. This means that harmful cosmic and solar radiation can penetrate all the way to the Martian surface. For astronauts en route to Mars, this radiation poses a grave risk. Prolonged exposure to these high-energy particles can damage DNA, increase the risk of cancer, and impair cognitive function. It's a shocking and sobering reality that NASA has been grappling with. As we contemplate this shocking revelation, we must consider the solutions that scientists and engineers have been tirelessly working on. One option is to develop spacecraft with advanced radiation shielding, but this presents a significant challenge. You see, a spaceship's outer shell and frame are constructed primarily from lightweight yet robust aluminum alloys. These alloys are carefully chosen for their high strength-to-weight ratios, a critical factor in overcoming Earth's gravity during launch. Some components are made of titanium. This incredible material is used in places where strength and resistance to extreme temperatures are essential. It can withstand the scorching heat generated during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. One of the ship's most critical features is its heat shield. This is what enables the spacecraft to survive the fiery descent back to Earth. The heat shield is crafted from ablative materials that burn away, carrying intense heat with them. It's the difference between a safe landing and a disastrous one. Radiation protection is paramount for astronaut safety. Inside the ship's walls are layers of radiation-absorbing materials, shielding the crew from harmful cosmic and solar radiation. Mars' atmosphere is 10 times denser than Earth's due to the heavy build of gases that are very reactive. Entry into the Mars' atmosphere by spaceships not properly designed to withstand the heat generated will lead to an explosion. Creating shields robust enough to block harmful radiation while keeping spacecraft light enough for a journey to Mars is a delicate balancing act. Even with the best technology, astronauts would still be exposed to a certain level of radiation during their mission. NASA must ensure their safety while maintaining the mission's feasibility. Another reason why NASA has hesitated in sending humans to Mars is the duration of the journey itself. The round-trip journey to the Red Planet could take over a year, depending on orbital positions. That's an extended period for astronauts to be exposed to the hazards of space, from microgravity to psychological stress. The human body isn't designed for long-duration spaceflight, and maintaining physical and mental health over such an extended period is a formidable challenge. Astronauts on the International Space Station already face the health impacts of prolonged microgravity, 
and a mission to Mars would amplify these concerns. Shifting our focus to another shocking aspect, we encountered the monumental challenge of providing astronauts with sustenance on their Martian journey. While the space agencies have made incredible strides in developing food for astronauts, the lengthy mission duration poses unique obstacles. Astronauts need a reliable source of food, but traditional options like freeze-dried meals have limitations. Over the course of a year or more, variety, taste, and nutritional value become crucial factors. Maintaining a balanced diet in the harsh conditions of space is a puzzle that NASA is working to solve. Water is a precious commodity to have in space. Carrying enough water for a lengthy mission is impractical, and recycling systems can only go so far. Mars itself might hold some answers with evidence of subsurface water ice. However, accessing and purifying Martian water presents yet another shocking challenge. Imagine being confined in a small spacecraft for over a year with only a handful of fellow astronauts for company. That's the shocking reality of interplanetary travel. Maintaining mental health during such isolation is a paramount concern for NASA. Crew members must navigate interpersonal dynamics, cope with loneliness, and manage stress while also performing complex mission tasks. Solutions include advanced psychological training and virtual reality tools to combat isolation, but it remains a formidable challenge. This is why NASA came up with an intrinsic solution to help with the fight by creating an AI android company for astronauts. Buckle up for a fascinating journey into the future of space travel, where NASA is pushing the boundaries of technology by developing AI androids to accompany astronauts during their interplanetary journeys. Simon stands for Crew Interactive Mobile Companion and it's meant to be a social interactive uh, free-flying object who shall assist the crew during extensive tasks and to reduce stress. Simon will assist Alexander Guest during his next mission. He will assist him during two different tasks so he will be able to provide him with the good advices during complex procedures as well as a system in a social interaction or by social interaction and will provide additional data to the science group like video data for or during complex tasks to validate the exact processing. The AI androids are the brainchild of NASA's brightest minds and engineers. These humanoid robots are designed not just to assist with tasks but also to provide companionship, support and a touch of humanity during those long, isolated journeys through the cosmos. NASA's journey to develop these AI androids began with an extensive understanding of human psychology. They studied the effects of isolation, stress, and the psychological challenges that astronauts face during extended space missions. The goal was to create companions who could empathize, understand, and support their human counterparts. One of the most incredible aspects of these AI androids is their emotional intelligence. Simon, do a positive yaw by 90 degrees. Wilco, positive yaw by 90 degrees. Very good. I am happy you like it. Simon, can you help me with the procedure? Which one of the procedures do you want to do? Help me with the EPO crystallization procedure. The required equipment is shown on the screen. Are you ready to start? They can read astronauts' emotional states through tone of voice, body language, and even facial expressions. If an astronaut is feeling down or stressed, the android can offer words of encouragement, suggest activities to boost morale, or simply provide a listening ear. Space missions can be lengthy, and the crew can benefit greatly from engaging in conversations. These AI androids are programmed with vast knowledge databases, from science and history to literature and entertainment. They can discuss a wide range of topics, 
tell stories, and even play interactive games to keep astronauts mentally stimulated. Despite their advanced technology, these AI androids are not devoid of personality. Astronauts can personalize their android companions to some extent, from choosing names to adjusting personalities. Some may prefer a calm and soothing companion, while others may opt for a more humorous and outgoing one. In the cold vast vacuum of space, where the stars shine but the human touch is distant, these AI androids will provide a warm familiar presence in the great unknown, reminding astronauts that they are never truly alone on their interplanetary odyssey. While it might be shocking to think about these hurdles, it's also inspiring to see the incredible advancements in technology and research aimed at overcoming them. NASA has been at the forefront of developing cutting-edge spacecraft, propulsion systems, and life support technologies. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification icon to turn on post notifications so you won't miss more videos. Another factor in NASA's strategy is the presence of two tiny Martian moons, Phobos and Deimos. These moons could serve as stepping stones for human exploration. Their lower gravity makes them ideal locations for refueling and staging missions to and from Mars. As shocking as it might seem, these moons could be key to unlocking Mars for human visitors. While the shocking challenges of radiation, long-duration missions, food, water, isolation, and technology might seem daunting, they're not insurmountable. NASA's commitment to sending humans to Mars remains steadfast. The shocking reason why NASA hasn't done it yet is not a lack of will, but a testament to the complexity of the mission. As technology advances and our understanding of the Red Planet deepens, the dream of sending humans to Mars is steadily becoming a reality. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.